Well, this is an update on what to expect here in the coming weeks and months ahead. As we have North Korea stating now that they will indeed conduct more tests, more missile tests, and specifically on a weekly basis. This is something to pay attention to, seeming that the most recent launch blew up like right after it took off. A lot of speculation behind what went down there. We have a U.S. armada making its way up into the region. Russian, Chinese vessels tracking that. And then we also have word of more aircraft carriers being sent to the region. Two more, to be specific. We're going to have a lot of military hardware sitting on the waters, specifically in the Sea of Japan. So they're mounted up. You have South Korea, Japan, Philippines, U.S. military, all in the region. And yes, Chinese and Russian vessels have been tracking the first fleet that Trump sent. So at this point, we can expect more tests. Now, are they going to keep blowing up on the deck? Is it going to be a quiet sign to them that this is all we got to do? Are they actually going to get some into the air and launch them out to sea? Because last time it was toward Japan, even though it went down in the water. What happens if we have military vessels sitting in those waters and they launch one of these things? Because it almost seems to me like they're fanning out across the waterway, not giving them an area to launch in. So if they do launch, they're going to shoot it down. And they're going to say, they launched at us, or it came damn close. Either way. And North Korea's response is that they're going to continue with these tests, and if the military of the United States takes any action, it's going to lead to all-out war. So, I mean, what happens when the military's all in the waters there and they start popping off missiles? At some point, I have a feeling they're just going to strike them because, you know, we were saying this last week and people were like, well, no, they can't do that. Well, even though it's going against what they're saying, the UN international law, Trump and Pence have both, both made it clear that their patience is up. And that they will fire at any given time. Now it's going to take some time for this whole fleet to get up in the area. By the 25th of April, a lot of these aircraft carriers and vessels should be in the region. So, that's an update. What to expect here out of North Korea as they plan more missile tests on a weekly basis. And we'll see where it goes from here. It's been Dabu 7.